Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I am over on the center map and I'm going to show you the most important and the most crucial tame that you have to have inside of this map. Now, a lot of people are going to guess wrong when they say it because they don't expect to this. I mean, this tame to be something of great value. But on this map specifically, it is the most important thing that you can have because of the amount of resources that a this thing can have. Yeah, it's it's bonkers. You need it, even though it's something that you probably haven't even tamed the entire time you have been playing Ark. I almost guarantee it. I've said it before on a few other maps because it's very specific, but the center itself has a very unique grinding system. And because of the grinding system, you absolutely have to have a Dunkleosteus. This Dunkleosteus is a wild 150 tamed Dunkleosteus. It is by far the most useful tame on the center. Now let's talk about why. On the center, there are a couple of different things that you need to know about, right? You've got Redwoods Forest, you've got your like tropical islands, you've got your snow zone, and then you've got your ocean biome, which takes about 50% of the map up. Now, the ocean biome is the best place to get resources on the entire map. The only thing you can't really get in the ocean is uh, access to um, wood. But even then, you can technically get it in the underwater bubbles, but we won't get into that yet. But this zone right here is the most basic, I'm just saying nutrient dense, but the most resource rich spot in the entire game of Ark from 90 to 100 for your longitude and then from like 20 ish to 80 ish on your latitude and let me for those of you that are like yeah you're just blowing smoke right now teach this is a 150 tame by the way this isn't imprinted this isn't bred this isn't special it's leveled up and it's got uh, a reasonable amount of um stats it's only got like 7k health just to show you how not great it is and the reason is look at this field of resources on the center they added metal nodes underwater. They added additional oil spawns underwater. They added crystal underwater. They added obsidian underwater. All you have to do is go to the resource location that I was just talking to you about, which happens to be right where I am right now. And in case you're curious, there's the top floor there. You just need to look for the actual glowing plants on the bottom of the ocean on the center. And you can use a Dunkleosteus to get so much resources that I, I kid you not, it has got to be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. So we haven't even been clicking for what, maybe 15 seconds. There's 2000 metal. There's almost 1500 stone. And we haven't even gone into an area that's super resource rich yet. Look at this, this is crazy. I'm just gonna keep clicking away, right? Because obviously you can see how crazy this gets. If you haven't seen my metal video on this, this thing will harvest so much metal. And because it carries at reduced weight, you can get such a ridiculous amount. These things should be used more often, especially on maps like this, where they have a resource uh, trove on the bottom of the ocean. You can see that I'm just cranking away metal right now. There's another 4,500, you know, not a big deal. That's just an afternoon's work for Dunkleosteus. Now he can go ahead and harvest over here too, because he'll harvest all of the big rocks and little rocks and get the metal bonuses out of them, which is another big thing. We're at almost 6,000 and look at how many rocks are down here. And this is why he is so important because the Dunkleosteus gets just as much metal as an Anki. So that's kind of wild. It carries at a reduced weight. It has better overall stats as a, than an Anki does. And because of this map, you can get so much resources. It's almost a joke. I'm not, I'm gonna stop hitting the metal field, but you get the point, right? There's, there's 10,000 metal right there. Now, there are also on the bottom of this ocean, if you actually look just a little bit harder than the metal nodes, you can see there are oil nodes all over the place. You can start swinging on oil nodes and get anywhere from 50 to 100 oil per one of these nodes. And you can just keep swinging on it because it's kind of bonkers. And every single rock that I hit, by the way, I'm also going to be harvesting the um, metal and stone from those. So if you don't want to keep the stone, just drop it. But there's your flint factory, which is your gunpowder factory in the long run. And then if you swim up just a little bit, you can get a hold of a ridiculous amount of crystal because on the ledges, there's a large amount of crystal spawning. I'm kind of just going up to show you how many, like how much resources you can actually get down in the bottom of this ocean. It's kind of bonkers, um, but you can find on the top of these glowing pads, you'll find crystal spawns. You'll find additional metal spawns. You'll find additional oil spawns. And the Dunkleosteus can harvest anything that a pick can. So this thing will get you so much resources that it's almost a joke. So here's some more metal, I think. That metal, I can't tell. 
Maybe that's not metal on this one. But um, yeah, it's crazy. The only negative about the donkey is it's slow. It's kind of slow. So it takes a little bit of time to get to places, but it will harvest you such a lovely amount of resources that you're never going to complain about Dunkleos DS again. You might not even have ever tamed one. You just knock them out. So there's nothing super special about them. Don't hit them in the head because they take reduced torpidity and uh, damage to the head. So don't shoot them in the head, shoot them in the bodies and they're crazy powerful. So I'm just trying to look for some of the crystal spawns. Is that one of them? I just noticed right there. Yep, there's one of them. So you can see what I mean. So here's that under, underground thing right here. And the donkey, there's five star crystal as well, by the way. So yeah, so there's 26, 44, 75, 95. And we're just going to sit here and get a ridiculous amount of crystal, right? Because there is such a crazy amount on the bottom of this ocean. Now, the only thing he can't really harvest that's considered an ocean resource is that silica pearl farm. I wish that they would open the donkey to be able to do that. But I don't think they're ever going to actually do it um, just because that's 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 kind of arc for you. And uh, that's just what they do, unfortunately. But uh, the entire bottom side of this ocean, right, is filled to the brim with resources. And I mean the entire literal thing. So if you're in a mega tribe and you have two or three large donkeys and you're just going back and forth, it respawns faster than you can clear out the ocean. The entire look at look at how much metal that is. I just want to bring that up for a second. Look at how many metal rocks that is. That's crazy. That's absolutely wild, right? Um, so yeah, the entire ocean, a donkey is your best friend. There is so much metal on the bottom and there is so much resources in general because of how they change things around that you will never need to do an Anki and Quetz or Anki and anything again. It's nuts. So the donkey can harvest all of it. Now, you'll also notice there are some large caves in this area as well. The donkey can go into all of them because he's got a uh, pretty tanky health pool. They are really tanky uh, because they have the saddles as well as the inherited head uh, reduction in damage, which is pretty cool. Um, but in general, they are absolute brutes. Um, they are super nice. Obviously, you can see. Check it out. There's some obsidian. We're going to go ahead and throw out the donkey just to prove our point at this point in time. Bottom of the... Oh, my goodness. Are you serious right now? Anyways, you get the point. He can harvest the obsidian that's on the bottom of the ocean as well. And you'll notice right here, a cool little bubble spawn, if you want to think of it that way. And you can get all of these resources in this crack right here. Pretty freaking valuable, obviously. I can get rid of shadows and just see forever. But yeah, the donkey is the most insane tame for this map that I can possibly think of because of this zone right here. So, yeah. I, I cannot think of anything that even comes close to the donkey when it comes to the value. You can see here's some uh, rocks you can harvest, but unfortunately you can't get the silica pearls right there. But we're not going to go into that too much. So, yeah, definitely tame yourself a donkey if you haven't done so already. Because the amount of resources that you can harvest on this map using one is bunkers. Definitely utilize it. So, hopefully this video helps you out. Or if you want, just go ahead and let me know in the, in the videos below or in the comments below. And just say, hey, you know, this is what I think is. Or maybe you didn't even know the donkey was a tame. People forget about it. Uh, yeah, but I, I've used them forever. Uh, people kind of sleep on the donkey for some reason. Don't know why, but they do. And uh, they are crazy powerful. So definitely utilize the the BA that is the donkey. Yeah, super cool. And just being able to say donkey because people don't even know what you're talking about at that point in time is kind of fun. But hopefully this video helps you out and teach.